Join us for a lobster fest like no other at the first branch of Red Lobster in the Philippines. That is a awesome looking lobster. Can't wait to eat them. Here, we indulge in live Maine lobster, Alaskan snow crab legs, shrimp scampi, Chilean black mussels, scallops, cod, and so much more. Red Lobster is an American seafood casual dining restaurant chain that first opened in 1968 in Florida by entrepreneurs Bill Darden and Charlie Woodsby. It has grown to more than 749 branches worldwide, including the United States, Puerto Rico, as well as Brazil, Canada, China, Ecuador, Japan, Kuwait, Malaysia, Mexico, Guam, Qatar, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, and now the Philippines. Red Lobster was franchised to the Philippines by the Bistro Group, who opened the first branch on November 2019 at the S. Maison Mall in Metro Manila. Their specialty here, like in all their branches around the world, is live Maine lobster, which you can choose from their chilled aquarium. This immaculately designed branch seats 115 guests, and the interiors feature Bar Harbor New England architecture with dark wood paneling, warm tone fabrics, soft lighting, and nautical decor and artwork. Aside from lobsters, the Manila branch also offers Alaskan snow crab legs as well as swordfish, Chilean black mussels, shrimps, barramundi, cod, scallops, and more. From their extensive menu, we would highly recommend the New England Clam Chowder, White Wine and Roasted Garlic Mussels, Shrimp Cocktail, Bar Harbor Seafood Bake, Cod New Orleans, Live Maine Lobster, Red Lobster Ultimate Feast, and the Grilled Lobster Shrimp and Swordfish. I'm starting off with the clam chowder. It's supposed to be homemade, not canned. So it's served in a bread bowl. Served very hot. Quite a few bits of clam in there. Mm -hmm. The carrots, very creamy. Super enjoying this. Great way to get the appetite started. Cheers. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be at the very first branch of Red Lobster here in Manila at the Posh S. Maison Mall. And to start, we ordered the white wine roasted Chilean mussels. But of course, later, we also have a live uh, lobster from Maine. Let me get started on this black mussel. So this was served steaming hot. Mm. Wow, that is a delicious wine broth with tomatoes. A little bit of lemon to give it that twang. That is an excellent starter. Highly recommended. What do you think, babe? Um, what do you like? Flavorful? I wish it will be spoonful. Yeah. But I will just soak my bread. I'll use the shell. Like mm -hmm. you do. Mm. So yummy. Considering this is a bistro group restaurant, it's interesting, but the mussels here are actually even better than Italiani's. So way better and bigger serving as well. Up next, their signature shrimp cocktail. 
So you're served six very plump shrimps. You squeeze the lemon inside the shrimp cocktail sauce and a little bit of Tabasco to give it that kick. Okay, let's serve quite chilled. Oh wow, super fresh. Excellent crunch to that. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Wow. That's probably one of the best shrimp cocktails I've had in Metro Manila. Absolutely amazing. Up next, their signature pasta, which is the Bar Harbor Seafood Bake. This is spaghetti and a white wine butter sauce with shrimps, huge scallops. Those are definitely U.S. scallops. Uh, scampi, or shrimp, and uh, Chilean mussels. That's also served uh, steaming hot. Mmm. Wow, that is a symphony of seafood flavors right here on the plate. Absolutely amazing. The butter shines out. Wow, I'm gonna try scallop now. Cooked perfectly. This is definitely one of the best seafood pastas I've ever eaten in my life. I'm surprised at how good it is. Wow, super enjoying. Cheers. Up next, it's fish and chips. Now what's good about the fish and chips here is that they use cod, which is what they use in the UK. Now cod is actually a very fatty, oily fish and very good for you. Very rich in omega-3. Omega-3, so, what the hell is omega-3? <laughs> this is stuff that's very good for your heart, Lau. No, omega-1. Mm. Definitely cod. Super flaky. Served with tartar sauce and malt vinegar, the way you have it in the UK. Absolutely amazing. This is probably one of the best fish and chips in town. I highly recommend it. He's recommending me to try fish and chips. Saying that this is the best fish and chips in town. Now, who can say who's the best fish and chips in town? It's me, Cloud. I will say who's the best fish and chips in town. Okay. Not you. Go for it, Cloud. I want so, to see what love is. Let's happen. see who got the muscle here. <laughs> oh, you see that steam coming off of that? Oh my god. All right. That looks now, amazing. This goes into my mouth only once. <laughs> only once, not twice. Mm. I'm ready, Lord. You may be right. 
<laughs> I think this is one of the best fish and chips in town. <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. We have a parrot in town, and that's definitely the best fish and chips in town. The moment we've been waiting for, we're gonna catch ourselves a live Maine lobster. Alexandra, which one do you want? I think the one at the back. Which one at the back? Point it. There. This one here. Yeah. So hard to see. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. This one. Yeah. Look at that. This one? Yeah, that one. Oh. I got it. Take a look. Okay, the water's cold. Hold it here. Hold it here. Yeah. Must have a firm grip of it. Don't drop it. Oh wow, his claw actually yeah. caught onto the net. Alexander, look. Here. I don't know that those little claws. Oh, even the little claws yeah, are grabbing onto the net. I didn't know those could actually grab too. Yeah. <laughs> Careful of those little claws. That is a awesome looking lobster. Can't wait to eat them. Hi. Hello. Looks like our little friend has arrived. <laughs> so here's the accompaniment to the live lobster, the scampi shrimp, and wild rice. Okay. And here's the live lobster. And this one is you're going to crack it into half. To get the flesh. Nice. So here's the tail. So second thing. The claws. Hot. Breaking to two. So we're going to use the cracker. This is the joint yeah. of the lobster. So how many lobsters have you cracked? Maybe a hundred. A short trivia. Do you know the lobster can live a hundred years? Oh yeah. Really? What age are these one pound lobsters? I think this one is a, is this a month. A month old? Yeah.
when cracking the lobster, you need to crack it carefully because you might, uh, you might, yeah, the the fresh to me. Yeah, that's it. Then we're going to assemble it again. But some guests they want to crack it to experience how to crack it. I love sir. Careful, careful, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, that one had a long claw. Yeah. <laughs> moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Our fresh, live, main lobster, boiled, served with butter, and this looks like a vinegar garlic sauce, and a lemon wedge. And this comes with two sides, shrimp scampi, and french fries. Well, you can actually order rice or a dirty rice, but french fries, I think, are perfect for uh, lobster. And I haven't had a main lobster since the last time I was in Maine, in Boston, or even in New York. New York, it would probably cost around $20 to $25 uh, a pound. Here in Manila, it's 3,500 pesos, so it's like $70 a pound. 
it's quite exorbitant, but hey, you know, they gotta ship this here live, so that costs a lot. So let's dig in. I will start off with the claw. That's a very unique thing about the Atlantic lobsters. They actually have a claw. Uh, it's just very delicate and tasty. It's kind of like the crab claw, but I think the lobster claw actually has more flavor. So let's dig that into the butter here. Dump it into the butter. Oh wait, I haven't even squeezed the lemon yet. And, uh, yeah, baby. Mm. That was poached perfectly. Excellent texture. I love that the claw actually retained its form. So it's very, very fresh. That's what I can say. This is the only place to get live Maine lobster in Manila. And I ha highly recommend you come to the Red Lobster for it. Oh yeah. Alexander, you want to try it first? Mm -hmm. And tell Mama how is it? Yes? Okay. Oh my gosh, you cannot describe that. Oh. <laughs> you want to put in the sauce? It has a firmer texture than crab. It's very pleasant texture and the taste it's is meatier. so delicate. Mm -hmm. Mommy, taste this. Even this is large. Super. Mommy, taste this. Oh, wow. The fries are super crispy and not so oily. I will have a scampi now. This is, I'm so impressed that it comes with a uh, big scampi. Wow. Wait, wait, this is the yummiest part. Yummy. That big scampi and butter, absolutely delicious as well. Guys, this is the yummiest part. That's for you, Alexandra. No, I That's for you. Mmm. Wow. We're having an absolute feast. The service was excellent today. I can tell you one thing, we're definitely coming back for more. Up next, I ordered the ultimate feast. So this is if you want a platter of different seafood. This has the main lobster tail, but that is not from a live lobster. Snow crab legs, wild rice, veggies, baked shrimp scampi, and french fries. And that's served with a lemon wedge, butter sauce, and vinegar. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get started. Let's squeeze the lemon first. Already cut a little bit of the lobster out. Oh wow, that is perfectly cooked. Mm. It's so delicate. I really love lobster. Unbelievably tasty. Wow. Shrimp scampi next. Mmm. It's a little bit crispy because it was baked. Very flavorful mm, cheese kind of sauce that it's in. And that's served with the wild rice. Wow. This is an excellent platter to share, but since I'm not with Aksana and Alexandra, 
this is all gonna be mine. So I wanted to show you again how easy it is to get the lobster meat out. I already cut it out, but look, you can get the whole piece. Nothing sticks to the shell. Oh, this is just so delectable and divine. Mm. I'm in seafood heaven. Up next, half a snow crab. So I already pulled one of the legs out. Good texture and the meat is actually quite sweet. I was able to extract the whole leg. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Okay, there's the claw of the snow crab. Mm. Quite meaty and succulent. Wow, I'm really having a feast here. I demolish that with pleasure. Up next, the grilled lobster, swordfish, and shrimp. Now, I don't know if you know, but swordfish is a very mighty meaty fish and this is best cooked grilled. Most people that don't like fish but are huge meat eaters, they like swordfish. Mm -hmm. That is a serious fish, very oily, extremely flavorful. So this order comes with four pieces of grilled shrimp. Mm. Wow. It's perfectly seasoned and grilled and decent size. This is a nice um, seafood combination if you're looking for that grilled flavor. Now the best part of this seafood combination is actually the grilled lobster. When the lobster is grilled, it really enhances the flavor of the lobster versus it just being steamed. Look at that coloring, the charring a little bit. Oh yeah, butter sauce. Oh wow, that's just excellent. It's a surprise. So my buddy Lal also ordered the grilled uh, lobster tail with the swordfish and the shrimps. Lal, what do you want to say about that the grilled lobster tail? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lao going for the first time. Main lobster. As Lord says, it comes with two bloody claws. Compared to the rest of the world, there's no bloody claws. I'm gonna taste this. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Mm. I must say, it's pretty good. It has some flavor. I should not have put the Tabasco on top of it, <laughs> but that's just enough to talk. Mm. Relatively good. Give it a five star rating. All right. Okay, up next, Lau is working on that swordfish. I'll put it back just in case. Okay, now we start again. <laughs> I'm on the swordfish. When was the last time you ate swordfish? swordfish. Shit, I don't have, I've never eaten a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten a sore pussy, but never a sword. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> Since we're on the same subject as fish, <laughs> they say swordfish is one of those uh, higher up on the food chain. It eats other fish, <laughs> smaller ones, I know. Right? And the meat is hard. It's hard because it eats all the other fish, so it becomes fat and it becomes fat. Yes, it's very it muscular. It's a very good and muscular tenor. Now let's see, these head also is gonna like when you cut it it's gonna look like That's a nice in uh, a little bit. Okay. It's called the steak of the fish. 
For a reason. Because it's hard. But yes, it's not like a sea bass. It's Actually, not like I like mud. it. It's not like garuba. What can it you say? It has a very good taste. I, I think this is the kind of fish we eat in India. Mm. It's that black fish with a, with a sword like. That's a swordfish, yes. So you have it in India too. Would you recommend it? Mm, compared with the lobster, the swordfish is going to give me only six. Right there. For refreshments, they have a decent selection of fresh fruit shakes, beers, wines, and cocktails. I got the Chardonnay from California, white wine, I think it will be very good with uh, lobster and fish. It won't be because it's lobster. It's very light and refreshing and fruity. Okay, it's Alexandra's turn to get the lobster. Right, which is going to be the left or the right? Which one's bigger, Alexandra? You want some help? Yeah. Wait, I think this one is more. And this one looks bigger now. I can't get it. Get it from under. Oh my gosh, my. I'm not getting that lobster. I can't get it. You can do it. You got one arm. You have to go under the whole thing, Alexandra. Go under the whole thing. See, he's trying to go away. Okay, go get him. Come, Alexandra. Yay! Okay, let's put it there. And on the tray. Wow. Touch him, touch him, touch him. Okay, it's live lobster, round two. Vera has the claw of that Atlantic lobster. Go for it, Alexandra. Oh, yes. Right here. That's the claw. Bite it. It's filled already. Oh, yes. Perfect. How was it? It tastes like water. It tastes like what? Water. Water? <laughs> That's the uh, biggest muscle in the lobster, aside from the tail. And why is it moving? It's not moving, it's already dead. Look, see? You're wiggling it, that's <laughs> right. Look in the inside. <laughs> Would you like more? Lobster or crab? Both. 